the 2020 bushfires have had a massive impact, um, not only on everybody who experienced them, but also on the landscape. And they've generated ongoing problems with erosion, sediment runoff, a really hot fire, the burnt landscape is causing all sorts of issues. They're actually seeing a really broad range of impacts, everything from the ash and sediment just flowing off the sides of the hills that have been burnt bare, increases in gully erosion, in movement of head cuts, in rilling across bare landscapes. And this is all because of the impact of storm events after the fire, high rainfall events causing big impacts. Particularly in this deep country, ground cover is probably the most critical thing that you lose with the fire. So on the steeper slopes after a bushfire, all the ground cover, all the litter, everything has been burnt back to bare ground. And that's, there's nothing there to stop the water flowing across the ground, to stop the sediment flowing off the hills. So the main impact on the waterways after the bushfire is due to the sediment and particularly the ash washing off the, the steeper slopes into the waterways and that takes out the oxygen so the dissolved oxygen in the water is removed essentially and hence yeah, the things that are living in the waterways are dying and that includes endangered uh, rare species that are in these waterways. There's a number of steps in the erosion process. The, the first step is the level of ground cover. You take ground cover off and that exposes the soil surface to the energy of uh, raindrop, raindrop impact. Once all those raindrops collect together, uh, it starts a process called sheet erosion, where the water flows off the paddock as a sheet. Once the energy in that flowing sheet starts to concentrate into, into little channels, that becomes what we call rill erosion. So across a paddock, you might have 20 of these rills going down the slope. At some point, those rills gather together. So all that water, volume of water is gathered together. The energy in that water is now so substantial that it starts to chew out subsoil as well as the topsoil. And this is called minor erosion. As you go down the hillside, all these other minor gullies have gathered together and we start to get what's called major, major erosion. That's usually uh, 60 centimetres to 2 metres in depth. What's happening here is the water's coming over the, the gully face and is part of that water is washing the subsoil out from underneath. So you're left with this uh, roof and eventually that'll collapse in. That's the basis of tunnel erosion. Here we've got the sediment product from the erosion above and it's simply the sand has dropped out first. The silt and the clay has moved further downstream and is now the coffee coloured water you see in the, the streams below. Well, what you've got here is uh, a large catchment and then as a result of the fire and the heavy rainfall, uh, it's generated a lot of runoff and sediment down through the gully. Yeah, look, after fire, uh, some of the productivity impacts can be um, you know, fire affected pasture and loss of soil and nutrients affecting plant growth. So you can get also um, sedimentation and uh, water quality impacts on farms and then also damage to assets and infrastructure, culverts, farm dams, sheds and hard stand areas as well.